Hello everyone, this is Akaim and welcome back to more Sword of the Stars to the Enhanced Edition. Uh, last time we spent a crap ton of money and now I'm in the negative. Uh, the exact same time we were attacked down here and unfortunately we've lost our uh, colony, now, colony down here. Uh, so thank you so much to the Spectres. Freaking assholes coming and attacking uh, my very young colony so i gotta recolonize that let's see what else happened we also upgraded our stations so that's gonna hopefully improve our trade uh just a little bit obviously we have to add the modules on uh let's see first defensive fleet arrived back uh we did we repair them no we did not so let's get that taken care of good 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 and let's see what else uh, we should have a colonizer available sometime. There you can see we were attacked by specters, lost the colony. Yep, uh, this sucks. Alright, so let's see. Uh, we have a Zul fleet coming in from here. Uh, how many turns till uh, we arrive at Peton? Uh, should just be a few turns. Um, four turns till we arrive. Okay, well, let's hope. Uh, shouldn't be a big issue in the next few turns. Uh, might as well go ahead and turn. Uh, I know right now uh, we're spending a lot of money. <laughs> our trade income's down. Our economy's down. So not looking particularly well. Oh, God. All right, let's go ahead and turn and let's see what the next turn presents us. Hopefully uh, we can recuperate our loss and hopefully uh, get us back up into uh, the green let's see what the next turn presents us System updates. alrighty um let's see we should have a colonizer available let me double check uh yes we do good all right let's get this colonizer back over here um i might send my defensive fleet uh down there to at least protect them just for a couple turns uh, so let's go ahead. Actually, uh, yeah, let's send our first defensive fleet down there. Uh, might as well get them uh, sent. Let's see. Also, I did also upgrade my ships. Let's see. Wow, we have a lot of ships kind of in uh, orbit here. Uh, let's see. We have a gate ship. Uh, let's actually get these gate ships out. I forgot to do this. Uh, did do all right so second gate fleet where can you go oh question more comes down to is where are the other players because i think we're getting at the limit of unex or places where there are no enemies i guess we'll send someone there yep let's get someone there from an exit that's gonna take a little bit of time to get there that's fine uh, let's see let's get a gate ship over here might as well that looks good and second construction fleet is back first construction fleet is back yada yada all right and it looks like we are starting to make some money back and we are over budget so I'm actually going to pull some money away from research uh, just so we can make a little bit more money. It's at least my hope. Let's see. We're spending 843000 Oh, my God. Whew, we're spending a lot of money. Uh, I think the most major thing is upgrading the merchant uh, to or upgrading the um, station to a merchant or uh, so yeah, that's definitely where we're spending a lot of money. Uh, let's see what else um, Actually, I think I Want to create a new fleet uh, Let's see what's hunter 15% faster in pursuit mode Yeah, let's see what else we have we have slippery scion drill sergeant pathfinder Architect, green thumb. It's elite. I forget what elite does. Upkeep of all ships in fleet increased by 50%. But he does. I forget what he does. Critical hits repaired 
faster, which isn't too bad. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's have this as second defensive fleet for right now. We'll get that going. Uh, let's see. Uh, technically, probably don't need that. We'll add this. We could technically delete that. So I might actually do that. All right. Uh, let's see. You can actually scrap. I don't think I no longer need that. So that should... Does that automatically do it? Yeah, it does. Okay. So it doesn't even give you the chance uh, if you decide to wait on scrapping it. But oh well. That's a, that's fine by me. Like I said, I didn't really need that ship, so not a big, big deal. Uh, let's see, what else? Third colonization. Oh, yes. Our third colonization fleet is actually uh, serviced here. And it's the one going over here, which I'm colonizing. Is this my most expensive? No, it's not, actually. All right, well, that's not too bad. Um probably gonna end turn honestly uh right now there's not much We're currently waiting on this attacking fleet to arrive so then we can continue pushing out uh but yeah let's go ahead and end turn let's see what the next turn presents us hopefully uh we'll get a little bit more money back um hopefully it won't be too bad yay we colonized awesome all right should be able to grow fairly quickly um Let's see, infrastructure, I mean, is already fairly up. Population should uh, boom uh, very, very quickly. Uh, so that shouldn't be that big of a deal for us, uh, being hivers and whatnot. And looks like we upgraded our caster. Where was this at? Let's see, upgraded to a nexus. What did I upgrade? What's a nexus? Let's actually pop into Battle Manager. I'm actually kind of curious. Uh, is Nexus... Is that our... Let's see... That is our uh, trade station, isn't it? I think so. It looks like a trade station. I'm pretty certain that's probably a trade station. Um, here, let's quickly check what that is castor yep it's a civilian station so one of our trade stations got upgraded very very nice and that is actually called a nexus so that should start looking very very potent now i'm guessing uh let's see that's not what i wanted to look at probably need to upgrade it before we can actually really see it uh, let's see provinces. How is our provinces doing? We have four provinces. We have Ray, Katek, Kiti, Ket, Ninz, and Zokan. Then they have a province down here. So not too bad. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Uh, let's see what else uh, was occurring. And we're over budget. No surprise there. Let's see. Yeah, looks like we're a lot of our admirals are retiring. Hopefully they're being replaced properly. Probably need to actually check that. Especially like my colonization fleet. Um, more than anything else. Once again, I really wish... Uh, really wish it would just allow you to switch admirals instead of having to break down the entire fleet. Just so you can give them a new admiral. That would be nice, uh, but unfortunately that's not usually the case that you can do. Good Shepherd, I forget, what does that do? This increases the population growth by 10%. Ooh. Do we have a Good Shepherd for one of our uh, colonization fleets? Um... Nope. Does not look like that's the case. Green thumb. 
That's that's the best combination is having Green Thumb and Good Shepherd. Uh, but I don't think we're that lucky with any of ours. Thrifty. Which wouldn't be too bad. Maybe uh, later on, maybe for a different thing. True Believer. We haven't seen those uh, in a while. Or at all yet. Let's hope we don't. Uh, I don't think we're going to be that lucky. Nope. Okay. So at least I don't have to worry about changing one. But unfortunately, we don't have that perfect combination for colonizers. Or having an admiral for a colonizing fleet. Which does suck somewhat but I guess it's not the end of the world all right that's taken care of uh, this should grow fairly quickly uh, at least that's my hope uh, especially now we have the defensive fleet down there for a little while at least protect them let's go ahead and turn um, how many turns till we arrive ooh that's good uh, good question all right let's see what the next turn presents us oh boy let's see we'll have that. And that, that should be the case. All right, we should be using the invasion fleet both times. Uh, looks like they have uh, three fleets. They have a defensive fleet, a lot of ships in them. All right, let's see how this goes. Hopefully we can take them out. At least that's my hope. Um, most major thing is getting that gate ship uh, up and going so we can send in reinforcements let's see all right uh we'll keep this guy back let's uh get a little bit closer and what is this this is a station isn't it and I want this at point defense. Kind of, kind of wish I had point defense on these ships. It would definitely help uh, take care of any boarding ships that may be coming. Yeah, that would have been nice because it looks like they do have some attack class attacking craft. See, what is this? This is just a defensive satellite. It looks like that's just a defensive satellite. All right, awesome. Took it out. All right, go focus over here. I just want to at least survive. That's my most major concern. It's just surviving uh, long enough that we can uh, bring out our gate ships. Yeah, I kind of wish these ships had defensive, uh, defensive point defense systems on them. But they're older class, and there's not really much I can do about this. I can just hope that I can quickly get this taken care of as quick as possible. But at least we do have fusion torpedoes, which is good. Looks like we're taking a lot of hits. Take out this. Alright, another satellite destroyed. Alright, might focus this other satellite down as quick as possible. Actually, might go for. Might split them. Yeah, let's split them. Let's split them up a bit. Just so I can focus down uh, multiple defense platforms. Is this a supply ship? It totally is. <laughs> That's fine, whatever. Alright, uh, this ship is actually taking quite a bit of damage. It's not particularly good. I think this is feeder. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not really designed to be <laughs> attacking, but oh well. It's fine. Uh, their loss will be for our benefit. Ow. Looks like he's taking quite a bit of hits. Oh, uh, fuck. Why don't you turn? Okay. 
Alright. Let's see how these guys are doing. <laughs> this was the majority of the attacking fleet, too. Uh, it's actually kind of surprising that we haven't seen uh, their defensive fleet. Defensive fleet. We finish that off. Not yet. And let's send you guys to go attack this. Send that over there. All right. We're doing well. Send them over there as quick as possible. How much time do we have? We have about a minute. I don't. I don't think we're gonna be able to get all these uh, defensive s satellites destroyed, which is unfortunate. This is I don't even think this is colonized. No, it's not even colonized. It's kind of weird uh, that we're fighting over a planet that's not even colonized. Because there is one colony over there, and there is another. Uh, but right now, I'm just currently focused on taking out their defensive structures. So this won't be an issue later on. So we're going to take them out as quick as possible. Let's see. All right, uh, it's actually almost over with. And I think some of these satellites are going to survive. Which does suck, but it is what it is. And yep, that was in combat, but we should have another attempt at this uh, just in a little bit. Hmm, I'm kind of curious where their fleets are now. I'm assuming because we're actually uh, in combat automatically um, that uh, they have to take the long way. And let's send them over there. Trying to click on something that small is not making it particularly easy. Uh, let's get closer. You're actually going to roll. Just so maybe we can put more armor uh, in a better position. It's at least my hope. But with these taken care of, uh, we can continue our assault. We haven't even attacked their planet, but that's alright. I'm, I'm planning on using my assault shuttle carriers to attack their planets. I just want to take out these defensive structures as quick as possible. There we go. That's taken care of. Let's see. I don't think there's anything else around. Oh, there are the uh, little things. Uh, I'm trying to get my fleet back together. Because right now we're dealing with the uh, defensive drones. And I might go ahead and speed this up. Do this as quick as possible. And there we go. Taken care of. And there are more defensive structures. Yay! Oh, wow. <laughs> I did not realize I was still on high speed. What is this? This is a uh, station, isn't it? Nope, it's another satellite. Pretty certain this is a satellite. It's the only thing that makes logical sense. Alright. Look at those plasma torpedoes incoming. Let's see, we have 50 seconds. Might as well continue up the assault. And I'm just gonna have them all roll. 
just so we can remove some of that armor that may be glass being hit as the little fighters come around all right i want to at least take this out that's at least my hope might speed this up a bit what am i actually following i'm actually following a little fighter Yay, we destroyed it. Or no, we did not. Dang it. We are so close on destroying it. But uh, with that, we can actually open up our gate ship and we can bring in reinforcements. So that's actually good. Um, definitely need the reinforcements and especially needing the assault shuttle carriers just so we can take out uh, the planet. Um, see how things go. As soon as this combat phase is over. There we go. Destroyed a lot of their defensive structures. We took a lot of damage. Uh, that's the only down, downside. Downside. I don't know. That was kind of weird. Awesome. Heavy combat lasers. Fan freaking fantastic. Alright. That, I guess, could eventually go into Lancers. Um, let's see really want to get this 76 turns 52 turns yeah that's that's gonna be a while uh, before we even get that warhead technology what can we get heavy ship mount missiles uh, let's see this bridges the gap between the standard ship missiles and planetary defense missiles larger guidance system allows the HS missile to dynamically acquire a new target if the original target is destroyed Ooh. So that sounds actually kind of nice. Um, kind of want to get corrosive missiles. Large missile capable of dispersing a cloud of powerful molecular acid. Not too bad. Uh, microfusion drives. Small enough to serve as missile engine, resulting in increase in their flight speed and range. I mean, that won't be too, too bad. Uh, let's see. Armor piercing. Maybe I should stop worrying about... Weapons. I haven't even done anything with cybernetics. Uh, let's see. Advances in cyber organic system allow for cybernetic brains in sustained arrays. This allows the greatest scientific minds to be preserved after death and to function as li living reference. Oh. Oh, that. Oh, that's. That's. This creates a research bonus of 5% for every tier 5 science station in your empire. Does this? Oh man, this stuff actually wouldn't be too bad. But look how long it would take us to actually uh, research it. Uh, casting, gate station. Eh. Maybe I should look into that type of stuff. Wild talents. Really haven't done anything with that. I kind of want to get battle riders. Yeah. Let's just do it. Let's get battle riders. Um, because battle riders are pretty freaking cool to have. All right, we're almost out of the hole. Should be out of the hole uh, here in just a little bit. Let's see, I need to get this back up. Uh, so we're not, uh, you know, having politics, getting a free money. Don't want any uh, shortcuts in our empire. Yeah, let's see, four turns. How's our young little colony uh, growing? Can I remove you if needs be? Uh, infrastructure is almost done. Let's actually get the infrastructure done as quickly as possible. Uh, you only have 3,000. Yeah, you really haven't gone up that much that quickly. Uh, Imperial population is 41,000. So they still need a little bit more protection. I need at least... Let's see, one, two turns. I need two turns. So I might allow this uh, defensive uh, fleet to stick around just for a little bit longer uh, for the time being. Me, uh, for the time being. Uh, let's see, the feeder class of ships has been nicknamed the Spear of the Yorktown by my military. Don't know that the Hivers know about Yorktown, but they apparently do. Uh, what does that actually mean? I'm actually kind of curious. Let's see. Is it here that I have to look at it? Or is it 
actually where I build it. Uh, let's see. Build ships. Let's see what... Uh, something Yorktown. Or is it the original feeder? Spirit of a Yorktown. Plus 50% chance to repair critical hits. Uh, the molarity of this design aids great, greatly in the ability of the crew to effect repairs under combat conditions. Too bad this is an old model and I will no longer be producing these. That kind of sucks. Oh well. Oh well. We have a new model. Uh, unfortunately, the old model, uh, yeah, granted, that's not a terrible nickname, but exact same time, it's on a, um, supply ship where I won't be sending uh, them really out into the battle area that much. Uh, let's see. Feeder, I really don't need you any longer. So I'm not going to focus that much repair on you. What I could do, let's see if I can actually do this. Should be able to do this. Let's see. My first gate fleet is returning. I want to give my feeders to you guys. You guys can take them back. Okay, with that taken care of, let's see. Don't we have... That was weird. It, it would not let allow me to scroll down. Uh, let's see. Second defensive fleet does not have a lot of ships. It, yeah. Yeah. They do not have any ships right now. Uh, probably due to the fact that I'm very broke at the moment. Um, I would like to send reinforcements in right now. Um, to aid in, obviously, securing uh, this area. But I don't think I'm going to be uh, able to do that. Something tells me that's probably not going to be the case. Um, but actually, I'm probably going to go ahead and end off this episode here. Uh, because I do have to go and, uh, you know, go see my father and tell him Happy Father's Day. Uh, so, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zai Jen.